They waited for us to crest the hill and make the valley. The French lined up and lowered their lances. Our army took a step back and a murmur began to grow. We weren't equipped to deal with French heavy cavalry and they knew it. It was only our sheer numbers that checked the French advance. The Marshal spurred his horse forward under a flag of truce and Henry had little choice but to meet up, halfway against the hill and exposed. Upon his return, we all went home. Henry and Louis reached an accord, neither willing to commit the other to a costly and unprepared war. So we returned home to England to find my home in turmoil. Henry was new on the throne for two years and he turned his gaze inwards to the politics. During King Stephen's reign, the church lost land to the lords and the lords lost land to each other. A whole shit heap of barons and bishops. But now, it was to become a royal shit heap and border stones would be moved back in relation to the royal ledgers. Rothbury lost two thirds of his land and I lost my sergeant stripes. I found I had a choice once again. I either return north as Rothbury's huntsman and back into poverty with my shit stinking grandfather, or I put a king's collar around my neck and take paid slaughter work. <laughs> the choice was easy. As always, there's rebellion. But it's rebellion I'm used to. See, we expected the smaller baronies of the Midlands to draw swords against the crown, but we were wrong. They took to heel like whipped dogs. No, it was the Welsh who bit the hand that reigned. They'd always resented English rule, even back to before England was England and Alfred the Great held Wessex. Again, they kicked their heels at the new anglo aquitanian ruling and they set fire to the border. Well, looks like I was to kill some Welshmen again. And I could feel my hand shake in anticipation. Henry Fitzroy took the English fleet around the coast and was to cut off all supplies to Prince Owen of Gwynedd's mustering army. Henry himself led us into northern Wales, taking the vanguard of the army deep into Gwynedd territory to a place that I can't pronounce. We called it Coal Hill. That was to be a mistake. See, Henry Fitzroy had been given specific instructions. Instructions he deemed unfit by his standards. And instead of engaging Owen's baggage trains and meeting Henry's advancing vanguard, Fitzroy decided it would be in his interest to start raiding the coast at Mon. His troops were slaughtered and the stupid bastard got himself stuck like a pig. I imagine he died screaming like one too. The rest of the fleet, some 20,000 reinforcing men, turned homeward, unsure of their orders following Fitzroy's foolishness. So we, the vanguard, were outnumbered again. <laughs> 